Hey, Steve Basic Argo Deck. Yeah, we're down in the hole at our off-site build project. Yeah, as you can see, we have our superior walls in. These are 10 foot tall foundation walls. You can see they've pretty much been installed here. We just have a few more panels there to complete the job. Now, you know, you heard me talk in the previous videos. There was a whole bunch of planning that went on here. You can see the superior wall does not have a concrete footing. It has a stone footing bed. Um, and we do have some videos out there of how they actually level that bed and screed it and get it right. You can see there's a bunch of excess stone here that was screeded. So at the very minutes before those panels were getting installed, that got perfectly level so that we get a really nice system here. Um, you know, it's interesting. I was chatting with uh, one of the installers there from TV Build, and uh, you know, he was asking if I ever used these before. So I actually did a superior wall project when I was out at Building Science Corporation in the late 90s. And they've actually come a really long way because back then, they had their concrete wall. The, the basic idea of having these ribs was there, but the concrete ribs were actually exposed back then. They were finished with an inch and a half by three quarter inch wood furring strip so that you could screw the drywall to it. Um, and the inside of the walls were then insulated with an XPS rigid insulation to the tune of about R5, maybe R10. These walls here are 21.5. Um, so they meet our zone five um, insulation requirements here. And there you can see the ribs are fully insulated. So there isn't any thermal bridging there. And we have our metal stud here that can capture um, the screws for the drywall should we choose to finish it, as well as um, we have some holes here, you can see, through the side, there's a couple holes to run electrical wires down through the walls. So, you know, the good thing about Superior Wall is, is they pretty much take charge of the whole project as far as the foundation system goes. So, not only do we have the walls, but you can see we have precast footings in place here at different locations. So these were also precast out at that plant um, in Pennsylvania, brought up here. And these are tuned to the loads that our structural engineer provided. And you can see we even have beam pockets there and across the way there. And what happens is, is in the wall here, you know, they have that set up so that it's structural concrete post behind that insulation. That's why this is built out, you know, that additional four inches because it has a concrete post that's happening behind there to carry that beam. So, you know, as we go around here, you can see we have all of our footings. They're in place. We have a large footing here yet that they still have to set, but you can see it's all prepped to go down in the hole here. And then we'll pour that slab over it and we'll have that footing underneath there to uh, handle the load for our columns. Um, quick tour around, you can see here, you know, the panels, it's, it's absolutely uh, quite, uh, I don't know how to say, intriguing or interesting or surprising, depending on who you are. But, you know, these things all got built hundreds of miles away from here. They get brought over here, they get craned in and bolted together, and the dimensions are spot on. Like, it's a puzzle that goes together, and it just goes together so well. Um, as we go down here, a couple things to point out. Um, you know, we have the guys, we're putting in our, completing the, uh, the plumbing there, and our coverage there. We have still another footing to go in. Um, we have some more stone, the larger stone here, that goes in. But notice, underneath this doorway, you can see there's a giant opening there. And you're probably under asking, well, why is there a giant opening there, Steve? Well, the issue is, is they had to be able to transport that panel for the door. But 
the door actually goes down into that lower set of panels. You can see there's a seam line there where we basically have a four foot frost wall system down below and then we have our 10 foot panels rising up above there. So all in all, we're at about a 14 foot superior wall system there. So that little ledge that's in there was only to provide the rigidity during transport. That'll all get simply cut out and then we'll have the appropriate rough opening to the door. It goes all the way down to the bottom, but when they pour the slab in, we'll be able to um, put a stop on the outside, put in the appropriate thermal brakes there, and have that door come right down to the slab. So, anyways, you know, that's our tour down here. As we make our way around the basement here, we have our door. This is the door that takes us down into that workshop. Uh, here, we have some videos where we talked about, you know, those shear panels going in and uh, we're actually flying in one of the walls. You can see we have that pad there, that C-shaped pad. That is going to receive three walls on the inside. That's actually the stairway that goes up to the garage above from the workshop below. So, anyways. That's our tour of the inside basement. I'm Steve Basic Architect, and this is our off-site build.